line the National Assembly should reconvene immediately and look into the issue. Join the conversation using the hashtag TBC Countdown 2023 as to what you think about Mr. President's speech earlier today vis-a-vis -vis, uh, a contrary directive uh, via the Supreme Court ruling that came in on the 8th of February. How are state governors handling this latest pronouncement from President Buhari on the Naira redesign? Just yesterday, Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu warned those rejecting the old Naira notes to stop or face prosecution. He said the rejection of the old 200, 500, and 1,000 Naira notes is contrary to the position of the Supreme Court. Governor Sanwolu's warning is coming after the Supreme Court adjourned the case on the narrow swap policy of the CBN till February 22nd for hearing of the consolidated suits by 10 state governors. Uh, Kogi said, just like Lagos, were party to the suit asking the Supreme Court to stop CBN's deadline. Uh, a few hours before President's speech this morning, the Kaduna State Government released a press statement via the Governor's Special Advisor on Media and Communication saying that they had a conversation between some people from the federal government and governors who were talking about um, the fact that the 500 and 1,000 notes have been destroyed by the banks. They seem to not have believed this narrative, and they are saying that the 200 naira note is not enough to take away Nigeria's suffering at this time. Senior correspondent Ayodele Uzubaku joins me to discuss this uh, very interesting development. The president asked for seven days. I think it's way more than seven days before we eventually heard from him. Some are talking about, let's begin with the timing of the president's public intervention. Uh, it's coming, his speech is coming on the eves of the violent protest in Edo yesterday. A, a certain number of people were reportedly killed. Would you say that his intervention is rife at this time? If you look at the way Mohamed Bouhari is, if you look at the style since 2015, the president cannot be uh, referred to as ever being proactive to issues like this. There's this kind of um, laid back attitude that um, it, it takes time. It takes, he said it himself that he, he normally weighs things, that it takes him time to make decisions mm. on things like this. And he came with his broadcast and a lot of Nigerians are looking at that. However, that it's belated mm. that um, people are still holding on to the old notes and people are still, they still have a, a kind of um, circulation that legal tender, as, in, as the legal tender, why the governor of Lagos State is giving an, another, but from the speech of the president today, you know abundantly that the 500 naira, the 1,000 naira, however it suits you, it might not sit down well with you, is now a thing of the past. Yes, this might not be going according to the ruling of the Supreme Court, but the truth of the matter is that, you know, we have this, what we call exclusive lists, and out of those 68 items on the exclusive list of the federal government, this monetary policy is strictly in the purview of the federal government. Mm. Whether the federal government can be the final arbiter, the Supreme Court will decide. Mm. Will decide that. But Governor Sawolu, my, we might say lacks the locus, lacks the power, lacks the, I, I, do you understand, mm. you know, the authority to tell people that this is what you have spent, that but, this is the But hasn't, hasn't, mm -hmm. hasn't the Supreme Court already decided with its ruling? Because the idea, for instance, what some senior advocates of Nigeria is talking about is the fact that the duty of obedience to the court order is for all and sundry. And where there is an order from the court and you're dissatisfied, the best thing to do is to appeal against the order, not say, I'm not going to obey it. The federal government has not said they're not going to obey it. It's just they are going ahead with that plan. And the order of the Supreme Court, a lot of people say that it's an interlocutory order mm. that it has a time span. And I don't know. We're not sure if it was extended yesterday, but the lawyers in that court yesterday said it was extended, and the federal government they've gone ahead to say 200 naira intervention will come in, but 500, 1,000 naira is not eating on the past. Let's talk about what this means for the All Progressives Congress that is coming into this election with a power of incumbency. Uh, just a few hours ago, Zam Farah, state governor, Ogun state governor, I think Lagos state governor, have boldly. You 
are going to be prosecuted if you don't, don't take these old notes. Just a few hours before Mr. President's speech, the Kaduna State Governor preempted what Mr. President was going to say. 200 Naira notes alone is not going to resolve the challenges that Nigerians are currently facing. How do you see the party move on from here? Because even the APC governors have taken the presidency to court. Very interesting times ahead, Mifemi. The house divided against itself, and mm -hmm. um, they're not speaking with one voice again. And um, a lot of suspicion within the house. And the, if you remember that the formation of APC is like uh, um, an amalgam of different political parties, and these legacy parties, they are beginning to take position, different position. Yeah. You have the CPC element and the, even, 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 mm. the, the uh, ACN. ACN elements, yeah. you know, actually taking mm -hmm. positions and everything. And if you remember, the candidates of the party is belong to the ACN CPC. and mm. uh, mm. the okay. president belong Indeed. to CPC. CPC. While some alignment and realignment has been mm. done, but the House is currently divided against itself. Look, mm. It looks and like they're not really wait for the Supreme Court mm. on the 22nd of um, um, February. That intervention give, is coming that, some that three days before, before the presidential the election. election. Yes, yes. So the big question will be how much impact would all of this have on APC's chances in this election? Uh, it would seem that um, even at the rallies, we see Mr. President and the APC presidential candidate, you know, share a smile or two, he holds his hands, he's still doing his duty to support the party's candidate, but um, apparently the APC governors are not quite excited about his, his decision on the CBN policy. They, they, have way, they have their ways of solving their issues, resolving their issues. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, they have sit down the round table and something will give. But ultimately, what we're looking at is the sufferings of Nigerians. They'll be able to make things easier for Nigerians and this Naira to be accessible. For Absolutely. Attention is now turned back to if Mr. President's decision is going to bring the much anticipated relief. Already we see that um, the fuel queues are already dwindling. It looks like um, there's been a significant intervention in that regard. It's not as bad as it was, you know, a few days ago. But with the 200 Naira note, what do you anticipate? Do you think that um, this, it will take this a while. cash crunch is No, it will take a while before sometime. this thing will circulate. It will take a while. Mm. I can tell you that the Nigerian Security and Meeting Company that has just started printing the new notes, they don't have the capacity. They don't have the capacity to actually print the amounts that was mopped up out of, you know, the circulation. Mm. We were told that they ha we had 3.7 trillion naira outside the banking sector. And if it was 3.3 million naira, as a last one, that they were able to mop up 2.9 trillion naira. Mm. You can, you, you know, so if you are going to give an alternative currency or you're going to print new notes, you should be talking in the region of 2.5 trillion naira, 2.7 trillion naira, to be able to at least to ease the, you know, mm. to ease the, uh, the tension, the tension the in town yeah. right now. So. The, uh, maybe the 200 naira, by the time it's ejected, I don't see it easing out immediately, but with time, it will come out. Let's talk about how stakeholders can intervene, because yesterday in Delta, in Edo, and then one, I think in all your states, mm -hmm. there were some you know, really violent protests and attacks in mm -hmm. parts of those states. Who are those that must rise up now and speak to Nigerians that that approach is not going to be accurate? It's, it's, it's not going to solve the problem. Destroying bank facilities perhaps going to make this, the situation worse than it currently is. I expect I expect the Council of States meeting that was held last week. Those uh, um, former vice uh, former president and everybody to come together, and they should be able to tell Mr. President and even bring the CBN governor that to look, pending the time of, for the full implementation of this, you have to extend the uh, deadline. Yeah. And these things, good policy. But what we are looking at is the deadline. The deadline will make sure that, look, I still have like 20,000 Naira old notes with me. Mm. And I looked at it. I gave to a vendor this morning and said, no, okay, I'm not taking I'm it. I'm not taking it. I, I attempted, <laughs> spending it, you know, at the filling station and said, no, we're not taking old notes. Mm. So it's quite chaotic. A lot of Nigerians, they still have that money in circulation. So they are looking for opportunities to, the window to be extended so that they'll be able to, you know, you know, do away with this old money. And if the new ones are available, well, why not? They'll 
the new ones will we get it and by whatever the federal government want to do in regards of this new currency. Change. Absolutely. Let, let's just bring in um, Commissioner for Information in Kogi State, Kingsley Fanwo. Uh, but we're running out of time, Mr. Fanwo, but very quickly talk to us about how the Kogi State government is reacting aftermath Mr. President's speech this morning. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Master Aware. We all listen to what Mr. President said today. Uh, we are reviewing the situation. There is no clear line of action right now. Uh, but as we are also aware, the case is before the Supreme Court, and uh, they will resume hearing on February 22nd. Uh, we are very confident that the Supreme Court will go ahead with the case. And uh, whatever decision they arrive at, we are confident that we have um, we have a precedent that not um, but just to toe the line of constitutional constitutionalism and believe uh, believe in the rule of law. So that that's what we are holding on uh, up to right now. So how soon before we get the reaction that you talked about? Um, we, we are not going to we are not going to go beyond the case we already instituted at, at the Supreme Court. Uh, the, 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 the process is going on, and uh, it has been adjourned till February 22nd. So on February 22nd, uh, we'll hopefully, the Supreme Court will be able to uh, either arrive at the decision or reserve a date for right. judgment eventually. So we are going to wait. We are going to wait uh, for, for that decision of the Supreme Court. Commissioner for Information, Kogese Kingsley Fawo, thank you for talking to us on the countdown. It would seem that the governors are now relying solely on the decision of the Supreme Court. And we have to wait it out. Yes, ultimately, final arbiter. Absolutely. Ayodele Uzubako, senior, senior advocate of Nigeria. Senior, <laughs> senior advocate <laughs> journalist. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us so on the program tonight. Always. That's our show today. Thanks for being a part of it. Do not forget that you can watch a repeat broadcast 6 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, join us on all of our social media handles. And we'll be back at 7 p.m. for all news making headlines home and abroad. I am Nifemi Ogunsoye. Thank you for watching.